Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today Knott's Berry Farm has announced yet another food festival. So of course they had Taste of Calico, then they have Taste of Knott's, and now Taste of Knott's is ending. And of course it's time for Halloween, and with Scary Farm and Horn Eyes cancelled, it's time for Taste of fall Halloween, Which is a very interesting, interesting concept, it's basically uh, Mickey's Halloween party versus are uh, mixed with Taste of Knott's. For Taste of Halloween, this event starts September 25th, so about 15 days, about two weeks from now, and goes to November 1st, weekends only. Guests can dress up, adults and kids can dress up um, in Halloween costumes, but they must wear an actual mask, an actual face mandated mask. Um, their Halloween costume cannot separate, cannot be their mask, so you can't like be wearing a. Sorry, guys, my can't be wearing a um, Spider-Man costume and have Spider-Man's face cover your face and be, oh, that's my mask. You must be wearing a, uh, an official face covering underneath your Spider-Man costume or over your Spider-Man costume, or take up the Spider-Man costume uh, mask off and have the COVID official face covering on uh, to be permitted into the park. And, um... There'll be trick or treat trails as well, or well, there'll be one of them, and Camp Snoopy for the kids. That's only only for the children, not for the adults. There'll also be a really cool Into the Fog art show, which is something all new that Knott's is doing. They'll have 45 pieces of Halloween inspired and Halloween celebrated art um, into this kind of, I guess, space. I don't know if it's like a trail, but it'll be like a space where you can do. Uh, I'll have all these pieces of art. Not sure if there'll be fog machines and stuff because it's gone into the fog, but they'll definitely have a pretty cool art show. This event will be $35 with a tasting card for five food or drink items. That is five food or drink items. If you're a pass holder, you get 10% off like the other times. Kids will be $20, and that includes three items, but this time they'll include, it includes a visit to the Trick or Treat Trail in Camp Snoopy. So of course, twenty was, uh, taste of uh, calico started twenty five dollars, and taste of knots started thirty dollars, and then this one's at thirty five dollars. So five dollar increases in prices is still pretty infor pretty affordable uh, affordable to me. Um, it only keep go keeps going up in price because each event knots does like this, it continues to sell out, which is fantastic. Um, and keep in mind, thirty five dollars is exactly half the price of SeaWorld Zoo days for seventy dollars, but all uh, they include some more they. See, we'll include some indoor exhibits and some uh, shows, so it kind of works out. Now, whether the parks reopen or not, uh, during this time or after this time, or um, when, when or not, uh, sometime, you can definitely expect not to do a Taste of Holidays event. Even if the park, if not Bay Farm reopens, definitely expect them to do a Taste of Holiday event maybe on the weekends, and maybe the park, if they wanted to make it an upcharge event, maybe the park would close early on that day and then make they can taste the holidays can be like a nighttime Christmas type uh, event with where the park lights up I can definitely see them doing that on the weekends because these events are so so popular so I wouldn't take this as a sign um also by the way yeah, I would not take this as a sign as oh my gosh not Bay farms not gonna be open all the way through November no even if theme park islands are announced tomorrow or next week i expect or well, not not to just adapt though the park will be open but on the weekends and it could be even possible that let's say theme park islands are announced tomorrow and the let's say the park can reopen on the next couple weeks i'd even expect the park to maybe operate just monday through friday or monday through thursday at normal hours then friday through Sunday on the weekends, they'll have taste of knots or taste of uh, Halloween. Um, and maybe it's a taste of uh, the holidays. Maybe the parks, again, will have modified hours on the weekend to allow for this upcharge event, taste of, if they do a taste of holidays on the weekend. Or maybe the park will show on Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday will be, the park will be open only for the food festival. And they can uh, there's, they can def definitely do it that way. So there's definitely all these different ways the parks can be open, but.
but also the you knots know, can do this event. Um, so again, I don't don't expect the knots to, to not be open until November because that's when this is going on. I'm sure they have stuff like this planned for all the way to the end of the year into the next year. And I, like I said, I expect these food festivals to be going on when the park reopens, as well as obviously when when it's closed, whether on a modified schedule or not. But what do you guys think of Knott's Bay Farms events? I've been to Taste of Knott's, i sorry, I've Taste of Calico. Haven't been to Taste of Knott's. I, I, uh, I wonder how, when the last weekend, I think this, this might be the last weekend, I'm not sure, but I definitely want to go, I'll probably, I'll definitely try to check out Taste of Halloween, because it's kind of Halloween themed, of course, and the whole park, actually this time the entire park will be open. The entire park, that's another good thing I uh, doesn't uh, fail to really mention. The entire park, will be open. Taste of Nas, because every area besides, basically every area except Camp Snoopy. Taste of Halloween, because every area of the park, including Camp Snoopy, because of course you have the Trick or Treat tr Trail over there in Camp Snoopy, so you'll have an entire Knott's Bay Farm to enjoy, which is pretty freaking awesome. So I'll definitely be going to check that out on the weekend. It's in four, starts in 15 days and two weeks from now. Um, $35, really not a bad price at all. Parking is still free, it's still free for the California Marketplace and for um, these events as well. So will you be going to Taste of Knots or Taste of Halloween? I think I would definitely want to check it out. I'm hoping when these fires, it's very smoky outside right now, but hopefully when these fires get out, I can go back, go check that out. Comment your thoughts below on what you guys think of them opening up even more of the park and including some Halloween uh, themed uh, activities for the children and adults alike. And I'm sure they'll have shows and all that good stuff as well that they usually do and there's light entertainment like they have at the past two events let me know down below if you'll be going like this video uh give this big uh video a big thumbs up if you are intending to go to the event as well subscribe for more theme park updates because as soon as today or even tomorrow we may have a really interesting rumor regarding halloween horror nights at universal orlando so stay tuned for that and as always have a fantastic day